Folks, you next guys to come to the stage. This is our last competitor, and then we're gonna have an intermission. So let's keep up the energy, folks. Come to the stage. The very funny Eric Lundquist. Oh my God, I'm super happy to be here. I'm happy to be anywhere. I'm 22 years old. It's so nice being this young. Like wow. Like if you've never been, like wow. It, like. Here's how nice it is being this young. You know the movie Cocoon? I don't. It's great. It's nice. You know, you grow up, you know, move out and learn things. Like, did you know that you have to buy spices? You know, those don't come from cupboards. You gotta get those. And they're so expensive. Like, oregano is so expensive. Like, if I bought a dime bag of weed and it turned out to be oregano, I'd be like, oh, cool. <laughs> this reasonably inexpensive oregano. <laughs> now all my bong ribs taste like lasagna. <laughs> I like getting older. You start to learn things about yourself when you're... Uh, you know, not a child anymore. Uh, like, uh, I used to think I had an accurate gaydar, but it just turns out I think some guys are cute. <laughs> just walking around like, yeah, I bet he's gay because his eyes look like two pools of liquid sunshine. <laughs> like, it's less a gaydar and more a gay compass. <laughs> it's not gay, but it's been a big year. <laughs> has been a big year. My house got robbed. Hmm. That sucks. And I don't want to say that I live in a shithole, but we didn't know for like a week. <laughs> like, I just came out there one day and I was like, oh my god, it's so clean in here. But like, it still looked bad. Like, the cop came and he was like, whoa, was there a struggle? We're like, uh, he's like, they wrote white baby fuckboy on the wall. <laughs> Like, ah, robbers, ah. ah. They also keep clogging our toilets, ah. Hate robbers. Uh, they, uh, they actually didn't take all my stuff, or any of my stuff, which is kind of insulting. Like, a guy came into my home and looked at my whole life and was like, ugh, and left. He didn't want any of it. They, like, they took my roommate's Blu-ray player, but they didn't steal the remote. So, you can't open it. Wherever it is, it can only play Flash Gordon now. So, it, yeah, it's useless. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I hate my neighborhood. I live in a weird place. Like, uh, I was walking around the streets of my neighborhood and I saw a van and on the side of the van it said free rapid HIV testing and I'm super afraid it's just a guy that comes out and fucks you and says POSITIVE <laughs> I'm afraid of that, I don't want that to happen So anybody ever have sex with a homeless person? Alright, let's, alright, cool, let's do this one, alright Okay. All right. Cool. So, uh, okay. So I, I just graduated high school, right? Okay. Cool. And I'm on the beach with my friends. We're, we're having a fire. We're, we're burning all of our college acceptance letters to our safety schools, which is the whitest thing that has ever happened. <laughs> and then we we're just sitting there burning them, and this lady just came up out of the darkness. She was like, "Hey," and we're like, "Uh." Ah. She was like, "Hey, you guys have any firewood?" And we're like, "No, we just have." all these letters from Western. <laughs> Full disclosure, when I'm in Bellingham, I say Central. I have no allegiance here. <laughs> we said that, and she was just like, hmm, okay. And we all stood there, and she was like, how old are you guys? We're like, 18, we're all 18. She was like, cool. We're like, how old are, are you? And she was like, guess, whoa, okay. <laughs> 35? She was like, okay! Ugh. <laughs> we all just stood there for a second. She was like, so, you guys want to get laid? Like, she didn't ask one of us. <laughs> she asked all of us. And I thought I was doing, like, the right thing for the group, you know? I was like, <laughs> no! 
I was responsible. She walked off to the next fire and said, hey, do you guys have any firewood? Like, she started the next thing over. I turned around to my friends as if to say, like, hey, guys, wasn't that weird? That was crazy, huh? And they were like, what the fuck, man? We could have got laid. First off, we were all virgins at the time. I don't know how you reminisce about that later. You're like, hey, guys, remember that time we lost our virginity? <laughs> Wasn't she a nice lady? There's <laughs> like somebody asks you, Eric, how'd you lose your virginity? Oh, it shifts. <laughs> I don't know. That might like, if that's your first thing, that might alter you way later in life. When your kid is just like, Dad, how do I know if I'm ready for sex? And you're like, well, son, when a man and a woman and a man 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 and a man, and a man meet on the beach, they have the most awkward orgy you could ever imagine. And nobody comes, except for the cops, eventually, <laughs> to put out your illegal beach fire. So my point is, I don't like my neighborhood. I hate that neighborhood. <laughs> I was on the bus at 6 in the morning, and a clown got on. He just walked on like he was people. And I felt like super clown bigoted for a second. Like I wanted to say something clown racist on the bus. You know, like, ah, don't you guys usually carpool? Ah! <laughs> Whatever. But, you know, you don't, you don't want to piss off a clown because a clown could be a clown, but it could also be a guy in a clown outfit. And there is a whole murder of difference. <laughs> between those two things. Like, one of those is like, oh, I work in a tent and throw pies and faces. And the other one's like, I sleep in a tent and cook faces and pies. <laughs> They're different. That was six in the morning. Clowns don't work first shift. That was a late night. That bot mitzvah went off the rails. <sighs> or, that was a walk of shame. Somebody fuck a clown that night. <laughs> Imagine that, waking up next to a clown, and he's just like, Ugh, I can't keep doing this to myself. Do you have bus fare? <laughs> I gotta go. Thanks, everybody. I'm Eric Von Quist. You guys have a good rest of the night.